Okay, hey guys, um, uh, part one, if you haven't seen part one, I'd suggest looking it up right now, because that's most of everything. I just ma had to make a part two to finish it all up, because, uh, our, um, iPad ran out of battery right as we were almost done with the video. So, just a quick cover, these are all tiger salamanders and fire belly toads. And this is a 20 gallon long tank, which is perfect for however many. We got nine in here. Um, I believe four females and five boys. And, um, and this is how to sex them. So I'm going to have Tyler here take off the lid. The lid up there. Hey, Tyler. Let's sex one. Um, sexing them is actually v fairly easy. It, it sounds pretty disgusting, but it's not even that bad. Tyler, take the camera, please. That's a boy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wash them off so you can see them better. Okay. So this is a tiger salamander. So to hold them, you don't squeeze. You gently put your hand around them and gently rest your thumb. And they'll completely stay still and won't squirm. It's right there. But to tell if they're a boy, they have way longer tails than um than girls. So stick two of them together and if one's tail is longer then you pretty much know. But just to make sure their butt under their tail, girls are completely flat. They have a completely flat butt. But boys, as you can see here, you might not be able to see it because it's squirming around because the and because the camera's not that good. But I'll find a bigger one. But their butt it's is tiger. their butt is really big. It's their butt is really big. So um, when their butt gets way big, like almost towards where it explodes, it looks like it's really big. Then that means they're ready to mate. Males' butts get big. See, it's not that big because he's not ready to mate, but you can still tell if it's a male or a female between the two. And now I'm going to show you a female. Hey, this little girl, as you can see, it is completely flat down there. There's nothing there. You can barely even see a butt. It's just completely flat. And then. Let's see if I could find a boy that's ready to breed. No. Do the water water dog is. Oh yeah, there's a couple of water Try dogs. Him. Oh yeah, he's ready to breed. Um But uh if I can get him to stop squirming around for me. His butt is really swollen up. And that means see there's a good view of it really swollen up and his tail notice how his tail is fairly long that means he's definitely a male and when their butts get really big then that means you can breed them so you stick one one male with the butt really big with a female that the butts are completely flat and then you have babies in about a month or two um actually i'm breeding mine right now and i'm uh one of my females is pregnant so i'm hoping for eggs here in a couple more weeks and uh, this is a good look. And then uh, we just ordered some <laughs> tadpoles and we just got them in today. Look at the tank. Our tank's over there, but um, we got green. We got green frogs, leopard frogs, bullfrogs, um, green tree frogs, and what's the other one? Is there any other ones? Oh, and spring peepers. And those, we have all of those frogs and all of those things, tadpoles. And we have about 30 of them. And we're raising them, and then we're going to sell them. Well, a couple of them. We want to keep most of them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a couple more things. The tank should have either very, very moist environment or very, very big water pool. And um, if you're going to do what we have, water, half land type of vivarium thing, then you're going to want um, a filter for sure. This is a cheap